Congress Party Braji Koima, Congress Bhavan Bra press conference Luise. Party Last General Secretary in charge of communications, Jaram Ramesh Bra, it omoy, Pantsta Mamala Upor Kotakus. Takuse India the Pula, British Khan Logo, Freedom Panishna, Itiado Manukhange, Jukabra, Freedom Lagies. Takuse country the Alakalak Dorom, ethnicity Khan Itia Lagasar Karba, Bia Kuridias. Itukange, Bachavole, Lagies. Naglin Article 371A Pra special status Digna Rakhado, Bachavole, Lagekus. Nijola Mati are resources can bachavole nimde. Unemployed Manu Bishi Kam Napaigna Nijola Jan Loa Bishi Hoese Itunimde jobs can dibule lagese. Takuse democracy matlap to opposition takibule lage. Kindu state te nathaka kuse. Are ita homoide freedom of speech ekla noigna speech dea pichite freedom bi lagese kuse. And I want to speak to you today on five big issues that are going to be part of these elections. These are the five issues that I believe make the 2024 election much more important than they would otherwise have been. First, you know, the British ruled India for over 200 years and they followed a policy of divide and rule. For the last 10 years, we have Mr. Narendra Modi as Prime Minister, who has followed a policy of not just divide and rule, but more importantly, bluff and rule. So we have gone from divide and rule to bluff and rule. Now, why do I say bluff and rule? In 2015, a framework agreement was signed with one group in Nagaland. Mr. Narendra Modi said that is a game changer. We don't know what the details of that framework agreement are. In 2017, another agreement is entered into with another set of groups. And we don't know what the details of that agreement are. In 2023, when the assembly elections were being held, a third set of groups came forward and he made promises to that group. And every time he made promises, he would say, it's a game changer. It is a permanent settlement to the problems of Nagaland. We don't know the details of 2015. We don't know the details of 2017. We don't know the details of 2023. All we know is different people have been bluffed by the Prime Minister. So the first and most important issue in 2024 for the people of Nagaland and for the people of India is freedom. In 1947 we got freedom from divide and rule. In 2024 we require freedom from bluff and rule. Second issue, the entire BJP RSS agenda, ideological agenda, one nation, one election, one nation, one tax, one nation, one party, one nation, one leader, one nation, one religion, one nation, one language, one nation, one food. So, the BJP RSS agenda is to destroy religious diversity of India, linguistic diversity of India, ethnic diversity of India, regional diversity of India, food and dress diversity of India. And what happened in Manipur 11 months ago was a trailer was the beginning. For 11 months, Manipur has been burning. People have been targeted because of their religion. Places of worship have been burnt because they belong to a particular religion. Prime Minister has not spoken a word. Prime Minister has not come to Manipur. He has not met the Chief Minister of Manipur. Not met MP, MLA, political parties, 
because the agenda what they started to do in manipur they will do in nagaland assam arunachal pradesh meghalaya tripura mizoram all parts of the northeast to destroy the diversity of the northeast so the second issue is the protection of diversity of india religious diversity ethnic linguistic regional diversity which is under threat because of the bjp rss one nation one religion one nation one language one nation one party one nation one leader policy the third issue that is very important which i want to repeat which i said yesterday in 1963 nagaland became a full fledged state of india and article 371a was introduced in the constitution of india this is the constitution of india and article 371a it says no act of parliament in respect of religious or social practices of the nagas to naga customary law and procedure three administration of civil and criminal justice involving decisions according to naga customary law and most importantly number 4 ownership and transfer of land and its resources i repeat ownership of land and its resources shall apply to the state of nagaland unless the legislative assembly of nagaland by a resolution so decides now modi government removed article 370 which provided special provisions for jammu and kashmir 371a provides special provisions for nagaland 371b for assam 371c for manipur 371f for sikkim 371g for mizoram and 371h for arunachal pradesh but today i am concerned only with 371a for nagaland so a government that has removed 370 will remove 371a ownership of land and its resources and its resources will go from the nagaland assembly to parliament of india which goes against article 371a which was introduced in 1963 so this is my third point we have to protect 371a particularly ownership of land and its resources naga customary law naga practice naga religion naga way of life which is under threat so this is the third point fourth point i want to say is that across the country the biggest issue is unemployment the highest unemployment rate we have seen in india in the last 45 years particularly youth unemployment the more educated you are the greater is the chance that you are unemployed and one unemployed educated youth commits suicide every 2 hours this has never happened before so the congress party has introduced the five justices program youth justice women justice farmer justice worker justice and social justice for weaker sections of society most important we have to have jobs jobs and more jobs for educated youth jobs in government jobs in the private sector jobs in manufacturing jobs in services but the prime minister will not talk about this issue 
he will talk about other emotional issues talk about religion but he will not talk about the most important issue that exists today in india facing the youth of our country namely record unemployment so these are the five justices that we have promised fifth and final issue that i want to speak about today and this has great importance in nagaland democracy means having an opposition here everybody has joined ndpp and the only party that is fighting the ndpp which is masterminded by the bjp is the congress party we have to democracy means strengthening of judiciary democracy means strengthening of the media democracy means strengthening of civil society democracy does not mean silencing the voice of the people and this is what is happening in state after state including nagaland this constitution of india guarantees freedom of speech but what is important today in nagaland in manipur in other parts is not just freedom of speech but freedom after speech you're free to speak but what happens to you after you speak you'll be put in jail there'll be a case against you national security act will be imposed on you so my friends it's not just freedom of speech democracy means freedom after speech and that is under threat so we need to save democracy the 2024 election is a save democracy election it is a save constitutional election save constitution election and that is why the congress party has launched this five justice 25 guarantees program we have launched our manifesto we are fighting the election we have a young pcc president active pcc president supang mari jameer mr rahul gandhi spent two and a half days in nagaland 250 kilometers we traveled during the bharat jodo nyay yatra mokokchung tuli woka we spent two days and three nights basically to send a signal that we care 